Hello guys, my name is Armin. In today's episode, Fuser tutorial, I want to show you how to import models from SketchUp into Fuser. I want to basically show you a few tips and tricks and all the settings when you are bringing model from SketchUp into Fuser. So let's go into Fuser. We can review it together. So in order to sync your SketchUp model with your Fuser, um, you don't need any plugins. There are a few files that you are able to simply drag and drop into Fuser. Uh, any FBX file, any point cloud files, which is with the PTS or FLS. Uh, but if you have a recap point cloud, you have to load that recap file into Revit and then sync. Uh, SketchUp files you are able to do so you simply can grab the file and put it in uh, Fuser so let me just do this so I have this SketchUp file which is this um, structure I'm um, simply can grab it and you guys can see basically it kind of turn into a plus sign I can drop so as soon as you drop this type of file you're gonna get this box opened up as a load options so spawn in location. So this one ensures that the model will be loaded and it's default location. So whatever the default location is in original space, that's gonna go over there. Loading family placement is gonna load this in the library inside the Fuser. So Fuser has a library that you can play some of the uh, SketchUp models that you have that you use on daily basis. Um, such as gate, fence, any type of equipment um, or any other items like the trailers, um, trash bins and stuff like that. You can kind of place them in the library and you can kind of grab them and then put them in Fuser while you're working. So the next one is a specified coordinate. So this one we can specify a coordinate. If you have a Navis model, a Revit model that already have a coordinate, uh, when you bringing any SketchUp model or any different model that is not in the same coordinate, you can select that 3D scene and basically it's going to give you that coordinate. So if I had another 3D over here, I clicked on it, you would have seen all the X, Y, and Z and then hit OK and basically it's going to align the SketchUp with that 3D model or 3D coordinate that you already have. So just to recap, Spawn is going to put it in the actual original location load you're going to put it in family and then if you have another model over here you can uh, get the coordinate and then put in the exact coordinate that you want um, to your SketchUp model so i'm just going to leave it on the first option hit ok it's going to take a bit um, it's going to be a small uh, pr pr uh, project so it's going to load up you guys there you go you guys can see um, basically just the same model that i have over here um, inside the, the fuser and one quick note over here if um, you want to update SketchUp models or any model that are coming with the action of dragging and dropping if you want to update it you need to click on the model and go to this model under the import model to fuser so reload model you click on the reload imported model and you can update your model um, in Revit and Navis, there's like a different sequence that you go and uh, do those. But for SketchUp or any models that um, does from like a dragging and dropping over here, you need to click on it. It's going to open up the element properties. You can hit on the reload important model and you can update uh, your current model. Hopefully you guys enjoy this session. Uh, thanks for watching.